Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick video on the breeding update that we received in Pixelmon 1.16.5 uh, beta. Um, this is part of Pixelmon update 9.0.7. Um, I am playing in a few updates later though, or a few newer updates because I'm quite late to the party. But I did just want to go through this so everyone stays up to date. Because uh, there's been a few changes and Pixelmon breeding has always been a little bit hard to get into if you didn't really know what was going on. Um, so first off you'll find there's no more ranch block, if I even if I spell it correctly, no more ranch block. Um, it has been replaced with this lovely new block here called the daycare block. Uh, so first off, how do you get it? So the daycare block can be purchased from this shopkeeper here. So he will sell every single color under the sun you might want. Um, and he can be found obviously in villages in the shop section. The other way to get this new block is you can also find it in villages in a new building called the daycare building. Uh, it will spawn in villages and then inside of it will be this block here. So on the wiki it does say the preferred method for mining this is with a pickaxe but I did just find out that you can mine it with your hand and it does take a little bit longer. It still drops the block which is cool. Um, and secondly, quickly, just for admins before I forget, if anyone wants to spawn this into their world with the NPC editor, it's simply just spawn two. It's got no option so far, refreshes items, and that's what he has. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and now for the actual breeding part itself. So, I guess, where do we start with? So, to begin with, I've already put two Pokemon in here. So, just a Blastoise, so a female Blastoise and a male War Turtle. Um, so obviously this will make a baby Squirtle. So Pokemon now have new requirements. So I'll just quickly pop it up on the screen here for you guys to look at. If you want to pause the video. Uh, Pokemon all have new requirements for what they need when you put them in. <sighs> I'm kind of stumbling here, but we'll keep going. Um, so for example, water Pokemon require these three items. So three scoot, two water buckets, and five fresh water. So, I'll just show you guys quickly, I've got some of these items here. So, we've got the three scoop, scoop. so it will always take the first item in the list. So, and it won't ever take, um, like, half. What will it? No, it won't. No, so you, it requires all three before you can deposit them. So, if we deposit all three, we click confirm, it will take the three scoot. Um, and then we click confirm again, it'll take the two water, and we click confirm again, it'll take the five fresh water. And then as you can see, we get this little timer here that says it's been one hour and we'll get a scuttle egg. Pretty cool. Um, now you can't, or another change is, if you're in the survival menu, you now have this daycare tab. So you can't interact with this, so you can't take the Pokemon in or out, um, but you can check the progress of the egg. So you can go off, go mining, go building, go whatever you want to do. And if you want to check on the egg, you can just go to this tab. You can see, oh, it's almost done. You can head back over to the block and pick up the egg. Pretty simple stuff. Um, so let's go further into it. So first off, um, if you c so there's three boxes as well. So you can do three different brick eggs at a time, which is great. So you could just do three water Pokemon if you wanted to get so many different Squirtles to breed for IVs or EVs. Um, but for example here, we're just going to go to box two. So you can't put Pokemon in if you only have two Pokemon in your party. Pretty simple. You always need to have a Pokemon on you. So for example, let's just get our, we say here, female, Charizard, and Venusaur. So because they're both, both female, you put them in here, they won't create an egg. Right? So nothing will happen. So if you exit out of it, it just refreshes and clears. But if we grab sort of Charizard and Ditto here, so Ditto is known for obviously matching whatever Pokemon they need and breeding with it. So we put the Charizard in and then the Ditto, and you can see it will create a baby Charmander. So you hit confirm to say, hey, yes, that's what I want to make. And then it brings up a whole list of the requirements and items you need for them to start breeding. So we need quite a few different items here, five flint and steel, two lava buckets and two blaze rods. That's all the items we need just for the fire Pokemon, which is the Charizard. And then for the normal type Pokemon, which is the Ditto, we need 10 leather, three hay bales, and three white wool. So me being me, I've got all these here. So we just get the flint and steel, love buckets, the blaze rods, and the normal items. So once again, just in order. So you have to do the flint and steel first, 
lava buckets, blaze rod, and then the normal items. So then you have the leather, the hay bales, and the white wool. And as you can see, it's a little bit rarer, so it will take two hours. Pretty cool. And then finally, we have this other one I just wanted to show you guys. So it still follows the normal Pokemon breeding mechanics. So there's still like the monster egg groups, the grass type egg groups, that situation. Um, and you still have things like egg moves and things like that. So for example, if we just have a look here, I've put uh, Skull Bash under my Blastoise. So Venusaur here can't learn Skull Bash unless it's, taught, unless it's an egg move bred uh, by breeding with a Blastoise. So even though they're different type Pokemon, because they share the same monster egg group, uh, we can breed them. So we put the Venusaur in, then we put the Blastoise in, and there we go. We get a baby Bulbasaur, and that Bulbasaur, because Blastoise knows Skull Bash, Bulbasaur will learn Skull Bash. So it still follows the same Pokemon breeding rules. Um, it's just a new interface on how it's done. Um, I think it's quite better. Uh, quite a lot better actually because you don't have the ranch block popping up and down and you don't have to litter the ground with all these different type of blocks just to get the perfect sort of breeding cycle um, So once again, we'll just grab the items required and then we'll throw them into this one So once again, we need the water items first And then we need the grass block items Pretty simple and that will also take two hours as you can see, the progress bar has already started going up this one, so another 55 minutes and we'll be there. Um, okay, what else to go into? So, the hourglasses have received a change as well. So, previously, their use was still a little hazy to me, um, and even experienced breeders, their use was a little hazy. Uh, but now it's pretty simple. So, if you use the copper hourglass, it skips a requirement. So, instead of needing, like, the 10 flint and steel, you can use the the uh, copper hourglass instead and it will skip needing the 10 flint and steel and then you'll just move on to needing the two lava buckets and the two blaze rods so overall i think that's a great change for that one um and this one can be received from tier one drops so normal pokeballs on the ground uh, or legendary bosses uh the second one is the silver hourglass uh so this skips 25 percent of the time so we can use this one now actually so if we click on this and then Use that on box one as you can see it jumps straight ahead so it jumped 25 percent so we're now only what maybe 40 minutes through um and i've got 40 minutes left which is great and obviously that scales so 25 percent on two hours is worth obviously half an hour so it's pretty handy uh, next we have the gold hourglass so this completes all requirements and timers for one of the daycare boxes so we can use this one here as well so this one, however, is only a creative item. Same with the diamond one up here. They're both only creative items. So you can only get these through creative. So for server owners, that might mean like a tournament prize or a quest prize if you make custom quests. Pretty handy for anyone who's into breeding as well. Um, so for example, completes all requirements and timers. So for example, we just canceled this one, top one again, and just add these two in here. And then we hit confirm because we want the skirtle, the squirtle, sorry. Um, so instead of having to get the three scoot, the two water buckets and the fresh water, we can use this and it instantly gives us an egg, which is great. So we hit confirm and then we get that egg in our inventory. And we already know that's a squirtle egg, but as we can see, it doesn't say anything. So don't get it lost in your PC. Otherwise, uh oh, you have eight eggs in here, which is which. We just put these back in here for now. Wonderful. So, and then finally you have the diamond hourglass. So we'll use this one again. Um, however, this one, pretty simple, completes all requirements, gives them perfect IVs, maximum happiness, and a ribbon. Uh, so this is basically the full cheat item. <laughs> um, how to get poke perfect Pokemon easy, uh, clickbait type stuff. Um, yeah, once again, use it as a quest reward for server owners. Um, or tournament prizes. Very, very strong in terms of survival items. Um, that's about it for the actual changes, however. Um, new block, new update system. Um, however, hatching is still pretty much the same. Um, I recommend using a Pokemon with Flame Body because it cuts the time down significantly. Um, and anything that knows Fly, because basically 
we fly around here on Talonflame. Oh, they carry us like this now, I see. Very nice. Oh, we've been attacked. Let's just hop out of that for a second. Keep running. Um, if we land back here. It does help using a flame body Pokemon. And I like Talonflame because then you fly around and you get just as many. Well, you move faster. So you get those egg steps done quicker. Um, that's pretty much it for all the update notes I can see and everything I've figured out myself. Um, so far, really good system. I enjoy it a lot more. I think it's going to get more Pokemon, uh, more people into breeding Pokemon, uh, especially if you're after those, you know, perfect IV stats or different forms or different things like that. So pretty handy. Um, still follows the same rules. So using the Everstone will give you the uh, nature and the same form. Uh, you only get the female Pokemon, things like that. All very similar. Um, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. I like to do more of these videos. Um, and seeing my subscriber count goes up makes me happy. So, awesome. Uh, anyway, thanks guys. Bye.